also today, uh, I'm doing something a little bit different, uh, that I'm really not used to, like anybody that may be doing powerlifting or any sort of traditional weightlifting that does not include cardio a lot. I do Olympic weightlifting, so most people who do Olympic typically do cardio. I just don't. It's never been my thing. I can't run worth shit. I weigh like in between 205 and 215. So when it comes to moving my body and having to breathe, it doesn't work very well. But I think it's very hell. Like I, I decided recently that on my uh, rest days, which are, which is today, every fourth day is a rest day, that I was going to start doing a full day of mobility stretching, you know, just a quick, like, in and out of the gym, uh, do full body stretching, that's, like, majority static stretching, because I haven't done those in a long while since I got good at being mobile in Olympic weightlifting, and I feel like it'll help a lot to one, increase my overall mobility because it's why not do it? It makes it you better. And also make the risk of injury a lot less because I've been injured. Not like, not a big injury or anything, but I've had a couple of muscle pulls in the past like two months and I've fucked up my wrist a little bit a little while back and I just want to do everything I can to negate that. So after I do my mobility stretching, I'm gonna jump on the giant, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the big uh, bike where like the front wheel is that giant fan and you do like your whole body with it. I feel like that'll be a good thing to do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I kinda just wanna look around because I've, I've never really done cardio in a gym before and I don't remember the last time I tried running. Uh, but you know. It'll help with recovery and help my stamina, which is always a plus in Olympic. So I'm just gonna try to enjoy it. Today was like a pretty slow day. I didn't really do much today. I didn't have any homework due and should have done something. Should have did something with school or something, but we're going to the gym and that's something. So I'm gonna just try to enjoy it, get a little motivated, get some productivity in my brain, and get back home and do some homework after just so I can be a little stress-free. My older brother's moving in tomorrow, a week before his birthday. So that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, we're gonna kind of just stick him in like our living room because there's no extra bedroom. But I am excited to live with him. I think he's needed social interaction for a while, as everyone does, myself included. So I think it'll be good to, for him to like get to meet new people, mess around with the area I'm in. But yeah, you know, no energy drink today. I'm gonna just kinda keep my shit together and just shoot the shit with the homies have a pretty good time. I don't really have a lot to talk about otherwise. I just felt like it'd be good to throw my thoughts out before the workout and then see how I'm feeling after because you're going to see me in a couple minutes and I'm probably going to be like dying. Or I'll feel amazing and that's the goal. I might just feel great. So I'll expect the good things. I'm going to do my best and I'm sure it'll work out. You know, new things can be scary, but, you know, change is always good, makes you better, makes you stronger. So I'm going to see how my body reacts to some cardio, because I want to put in like a solid 30 minutes. I might not do the fan bike, because that's like full body shit, and I'm, I'm not trying to kill myself, it's supposed to be a rest day, so I might just get on like a normal like machine bike or something that will mainly uh, just get my blood pumping, feel it out. But yeah, uh, otherwise I 
social media is so new to me in this in this way i don't i said it yesterday but i don't post like it's i i like just putting my videos of weightlifting on my instagram unedited because i like looking back at them later and being like oh i did that it makes me proud of myself uh and so now I have, like, I'm just seeing what it's like posting, like, little videos around, seeing, I don't know. But it does, it, it gives you that little bit of serotonin where you see the number go up and you're like, ooh, that was, I like that people are seeing things. But regardless, you'll see how I'm feeling at the end. And I'll just, I, I, I'll just record, like, my mobility routine so you see what I get to do. It's normally, uh, it'll be a little intensive, or like extensive today compared to what I normally do. I normally do some quick stretches because I don't want to overdo it before an Olympic lift session. Um, but, you know, you'll get to see that and then I'll record like the last minute on the bike or whatever I end up doing. And we'll see if I'm just huffing puffing. But, yay!
Alright, so everything went pretty well. Uh, I'm not fatigued at all, which is great because that's the idea of a rest day. Um, you know, I actually felt much more uh, limber and loose than normal. A lot, sometimes, like not a lot, but sometimes my hips can be really tight with how much I do Olympic, and you got to do ass to grass every time. But you know, uh, I think it felt good. And you know, I I always start my. I'm sure I look goofy as hell, but I, I always start with a uh, dynamic stretching before I do static stretching for any muscle group. Um. So it just. You know, it looks like I'm fucking trying to start an airplane and just flinging my arms around. Uh, but it felt good. You know, nothing hurt. I, I hurt my wrist like four months ago now. And like, I'm at the point where like, there's zero pain, which is great. Because joint pain is fucking awful. Uh, but yeah, I felt very limber. The thing that I did not expect was how bad the burn was going to be. On today's cardio it's holy shit uh, I don't know about everybody else in the world but I don't do cardio like I said and I think I the last time I did cardio consistently was probably COVID because I had nothing else to do and holy fuck I got on the fan bike and that thing tore through my quads but to be fair uh, what a pump. Holy shit, my fucking quads were feeling very massive. I don't train uh, static exercises other than like bench. I know you can count squat as static, but I do like full depth and I don't, like I, you know, I get that little bounce because uh, I go ass to grass. So, I, so bench is kind of like the only static lift I really do. Um, maybe you, I guess you can kind of count squat, but um, yeah, I haven't had a, I haven't felt a pump like that in a long time. Because you gotta. The sad thing about Olympic, it, with snatch and clean and jerk, is you have to continuously be flexible and mobile all the time, which is why I do mobility stretching every day and I do it on my rest days. Um, but if I don't do it, then I'm not gonna be able to walk out as hard as I want, when I want, and then you just get injured. And I've been there, done that. I don't, I'm not about getting injured again. However fun it may be to get that pump, I mean, if Olympic lifting ends up not being as fun anymore in the future, or uh, per se, like I wanna just try something else, and I just end up doing like half uh, bodybuilding, half Olympic, um, I don't really see myself ever doing that kind of training because I, I need my muscles to be relaxed. I can't be big and tight, um, no matter how fun it is. But all things considered, I'm, I'm not fatigued. I'm not sore, which is good. I was a little scared for my quads, but I feel great. Uh, I understand now a little bit more why people always say that you should be productive on your rest day. It's not so much doing work or whatever. It's just something that gets you active a little bit so that when you come back after that rest day, uh, you don't feel like total dog shit because you need the rest to get over the fatigue. But, uh, you know, you're, if you let your muscles fully relax and be lazy for 24 hours straight or almost 48 hours straight, sorry, because you wait a whole other day. Um, then yeah, I can see why you're more at risk to feel like shit and your joints to not enjoy throwing massive circles over your head. But regardless, good day. Ish. I, I, I solely believe all the time that once you go to the gym the day feels like really good every time it's very therapeutic but I did not do shit this morning I really wish I did a little bit more again I've, I've talked about it 
ranted about it, how I want to find something new to do in my daily life cycle. I've been getting better ideas where, like, it doesn't so much have to be, like, a new job or anything, because a job's a job. A job's a job's a job. Uh, it's always going to be a little shit, even if you have a really nice job. Um, but I just, I need more... Uh, positive activities in my daily life that counteract the negative because currently even if, no matter how hard I try to make them positive going to work and going to school are more negative than positive because with school I want to do what I'm passionate in but you can't do it until you get the degree and before you get the job after your degree you got to work the shit jobs so you know I was just doing gym school work every day and the gym was the positive and the other two were the negative so I didn't have enough positive so this has been one thing that's been keeping me in a better mindset uh, but I do want like there's a career fair next week I think would be really good for me to do um, and I also want to look into the clubs for my major because there's so many contacts. Like every, you can find any job through enough contacts as long as you have whatever degree is needed. So I mean, if my school has some good clubs or not like a frat house fraternity, but like there's like organization organizations that call themselves fraternities, where they're just like more like clubs for the major that give you good contacts for getting a better job. Um, but yeah. I I think it'd be really, really good for me to go to that career fair and find an internship or something coming up. And then in the meantime, uh, just fill my schedule. You know, I don't think enough people fill their schedule. And, you know, not to medicate your brain from what you need to deal with in your daily life, but more to, uh, like I said, you need more positive things happening than negative, And you're always going to have to do some negative in order to succeed. You know, you don't, there is no success without some bullshit. Um, but yeah, other than that, good day. I feel good, I hope everybody else feels good. I'm gonna go home, I have to do work, but I didn't do it this morning, so it's my own fault, but I do get to eat a huge, bowl of ramen chicken and eggs because it's all I eat every day all day long and I love it. it never gets old for me because a new sauce is a different meal in my opinion but yeah I mean that's all I got so 